With so much talk surrounding the cloud, we've kind of put data centers in the rearview mirror, but micro data centers are stealing some of the spotlight now. Larry Dignan joining us now for a look at why we're hearing more about these self-contained computing environments. Larry, why now? Well, a lot of it has to do with edge computing and the Internet of Things. Um, but what's what's weird about the micro data center movement, um, which is just just about starting. Um, it came from reference designs from Schneider Electric and and basically the idea is that every place like picture a retail store, a retail store has all this compute running around. It has all this data running around. And typically stores have these computer closets that need maintenance. They have staff and staff on site that usually can't manage it. Um, and then when you're taking the data and moving it back and forth to the cloud or some central data center, it gets a little clunky. So as compute power winds up more on the edge, uh, the basic concept between a micro data center is that it'll basically pick up some of this computing load. It'll be self-contained, uh, it'll manage power a lot better, and it's kind of fascinating when you think about it, right? So if you're, if you're a server vendor, you're stoked, right? Because the theory was no one's gonna buy servers except for the big hyperscale cloud, cloud providers. Um, but now, you know, the edge computing movement and you know, these micro data centers might give them a little more um, oomph. And what's, what's interesting is that, you know, some of these things, they're in cabinets that just look like furniture. And under the hood, you've got servers, networking, storage, and all these other things like you would in a data center. Um, and it's all air cooled. So it's, and they're, and they're pretty quiet too. So it's very fascinating to watch. Um, we'll see how it gets, gets traction, but you can see this working on factory floors. They basically come in three containers. Uh, the one I mentioned, which was the furniture one, but the other ones, they come in ruggedized containers, which almost look like a gun rack, so to speak. Or not a gun rack, a gun safe. They're in that sort of container. Um, and then the other ones are like your little standard rack, except they're much smaller. Uh, but it gets interesting, because these are the sort of things you can put in your closet, and you can aggregate a lot of compute on site. Yeah, and, and even one I saw that looked, uh, Larry, just like a coffee table. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's the weird part, right? Like some of these look like you could actually put them in the middle of an office and no one would know the difference. So they're kind of, it's it's just interesting how the data center gets, you know, while the cloud was supposed to kill the data center, now the data center is just becoming more distributed due to edge computing and some of the analytics you have to do for uh, IoT devices and things like that. And, and it also, what's also going to be interesting is just power consumption. Um, these things are supposed to sip less power, but if you start putting micro data centers all over the place, the efficiency gains you had in the big data centers will probably just be distributed elsewhere. So we're still going to have a power issue, and it, it's going to be fascinating to watch. Yeah, most definitely. And you talked, Larry, about uh, those who are selling the servers will certainly win here. But what about in terms of who will lose, so to speak, or does anyone? I don't think anybody really loses. Um, I think the one, the one concern as far as losers go is just the power grid, right? Or the companies that, you know, have these micro data centers on their sites, it's gonna eat up more juice. It's gonna eat up more energy and that translates into cost. So I think if you look at, you know, if you look at the electric systems and the grids and all that kind of stuff, more and more of that, more and more of that power is going to compute now. Uh, it's going to data centers, it's going to cloud, it's going to devices. And I, I think, you know, at some point we're going to have to wonder, is the compute power ratio out of, out of line somehow? And But that's kind of far down the road. I, right now, I just thought it was kind of interesting that these micro data centers are, are, they've been, they were pitched a year, you know, years ago, a few years ago as like reference designs, but demand's starting to pick up. So you know, it's certainly good for hardware vendors. And I think if you're operating in branch offices like banks and things like that, they're probably going to have a role. Um, and who knows if you, you know, want to buy one of these things for your house just to show off that you have a data center in your house. Never know. Now it fits in a small space in a cabinet. So it could be a coffee table item. 
Yeah, Larry, it'll be interesting to see how the market responds to this. And for more on the micro data centers and Larry's full article, be sure to check out ZDNet.